welcome back. So I, I finally got sick of uh, playing Bioshock. Not that you'd know that, because I'll be uploading that Let's Play after this one. And probably after several others. I was originally going to play the, um, this. Then I had problems setting up my uh, PVR. Which I've now solved, obviously. Um, but I was, so I was going to do Bioshock. But change my mind. I'll come to this now. It's I'm actually going to have a slightly longer introduction on this one than I usually do, because I think this one needs a little bit of um, an explanation. It's based on the writings of Carl Jung, the psychologist. J U N G. That is. Also, it has a lengthy um, intro sequence, so I'm going to get the talking out of the way now, so I don't have to interrupt it. I'll pick it up, pick up the thing later. But basically, this is based on the idea of. Um, Jung theorized that we have two sides to ourselves. We have our true self, and then we have our shadow self. Now, bearing in mind it's, it's, 15, it's more than 15 years since I last did psychology. My college days are long, long behind me. So my memory of it is a little bit flaky, but the, the understanding, as I recall, is that the shadow self is kind of the embodiment of all the, the truth of who you are, not who you aspire to be. Your shadow self is everything that you, you truly are underneath. It's all of your desires, your hopes, your fears, the best, best and worst parts of you. And that's loosely what this is all going on about. So, uh, yeah, it's a very psychologically charged game. And let's dive right in, because it's been more than six years since I last played this, and I'm really looking forward to playing it again. And uh, I hope that you have some fun watching me play through it. Um, I'm not quite sure yet whether I'm going to upload this in HD or whether I'll do it at its native. I have this set on the progressive setting. It actually gave you three display settings, 50 hertz, 60 hertz, and progressive. I have it on progressive, which is 480p. Um, so I'm not sure whether I'm going to output the videos and upload them to YouTube in 480 or whether I'll upscale them to 720. What I'll probably end up doing is I'll compile both versions and then just see which one works better. So until until I've uploaded at least the first one, or at least finished the first one and done it all, I won't know whether I'm doing it in HD or not. So for the moment, that's kind of a non-issue anyway. It's just something for me to talk about whilst we have this to do what I'm pretty certain in New York. That building there, that church, I'm pretty sure that church has been used in Spider-Man quite a lot on Manhattan Island. A gargoyle is symbolic. Yeah, it's New York. A gargoyle there is symbolic in several ways. One of the main characters is a gargoyle. Literally a gargoyle. I seem to be losing. I seem to not be getting the sound properly. Yeah, it's just quieter than I thought it would be. I suppose I'm used to the newer games have, uh, having better sound quality or higher sound quality or something. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. There we go, that's better. The soundtrack for this game is absolutely incredible. A band called 16 Volt. I'd never heard of them before this. And apparently, the, um, I don't know which studio it was, but whoever was making the game, he heard one of their albums. So like, These guys are fantastic! And then contacted them and asked them to. Them to do the music by. It's one of their songs right now. I strongly recommend checking them out. They're kind of a thrash, punk, metal y type band. Some of their stuff is quite heavy though, so if you're not into the heavier stuff, which I'm not, so I kind of meh about them as a band, but the, the work they did on the soundtrack is great. Yeah, I can understand how that would be a little bit unsettling. It certainly freaked me out. I'm just gonna have to check this cables, because this is definitely quieter than usual.
say, mister, are you one of them badass rock stars? Oh, Jen, you scared the crap out of me. Sorry, babe. Hey, 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 Lewis, what's up? No, it's got Alpha on my fingers now, it's just a lot quieter than I thought it would be. Maybe you never checked out your audience before, but you guys don't exactly share the same fan base as Kenny G. Living in a box. I'm a living in a cardboard box. He's a big chap, isn't he? Looks so hurt. I'm 21 now, Lewis. Too old to be living like a bum. Plus, I'm going to need study space once I start college. No honor. <laughs> yeah, it didn't go quite the way you thought it would, did it? Okay, now that's a little bit unusual. That might freak you out just ever so slightly. Don't worry, this all does make sense. And in the not too distant future. Oh, the it's going pretty quickly, so, at least the stuff is the game to so far, both as a character and as a player. It, it does a very good job of introducing story elements to you. It doesn't do a flat dump like a lot of games do, or do, sorry. It actually brings a lot of the stuff into you over time, allows it all to sink in and give you the full, full effect, so to speak. I don't know, it's a lot louder, it must have just been the video. I can hear it a lot better now. Is this your Jane Doe? Yeah, came It's really good lip syncing, considering the age ready. of the game. She's a fighter, though. I've lost plenty with injuries less than hers. Kind of broken wings, long pink suit and two pasties up the skin. Would you be hit by a truck? Yeah, she left cute. some nightclub with her boyfriend. It looks like a gang jumped them. You know what I want to know? If she's been in there, she said she's been in there for a few days, right? And why does she still have her pigtails in? Remember I said that the gargoyle was symbolic? See that chap there, behind the, uh, the other cart? This guy is an absolute legend. Andreas Katsoulis. Incredible, that guy. Absolutely fantastic actor. Such a professional. True gentleman, apparently. I haven't actually met him myself. Uh, and it's not really that yeah. likely to happen any time soon. But we can be dead and all. This a uh, hospital? Mm -hmm. What the hell? Look at the happened? monitors. You're not dead. Dying, oh not God. dead. I'm dead. No, no, Two no, I don't want morning. to be dead. Things are just turning to work out. Curious, the hour of the wolf. I strongly what suspect was that was intentional. What happened to us? Huh? What the hell are you? Boom. A bit short for the Grim Reaper, aren't you? You're not dead, Jennifer. But if you don't be quiet and listen to me, you soon will be. My name is... Well, let's say you can call me Scree. I've been sent to find you, to show you some very important things and to enlist your assistance. Right. Well, Scree. Glad I'm not dead. First, you better explain how come I'm looking down on myself. She is creeping me out. Me most about Your corporeal form, the one still lying there, how? is very weak, close to death, per 
perhaps How but not um, yet lost. approachable he seems. That is only part of you. The other part. He should be really quite creepy, but he's not. I set it free from your body so that we could talk. In fact, now that it's free, you'll find you can travel to places you've it. never even imagined. Right. So I'm like an astral projection or something. Essentially, yes. So what does that make you? I am but a humble servant to my lady, and to you I'm a friend, someone you need to trust. Now quickly, you must come with me. We're both a sassy one, isn't she? Okay, but only because I'm intrigued. I'm then an astral projection. She does have an interesting personality, that one. Okay, Jennifer. My God. What just happened? Questions. Questions. We're no longer in Mortalis. We've stepped through a rift gate into the Nexus. Still, huh? As I said earlier, your spirit it's been a while is no since longer I've played anything on a PlayStation have left the physical mortal world Couple of years at least. In the Nexus, a convergence point for energies drawn from the four realms of Oblivion. Sounds like one of Lewis's fantasy novels. This is real, Jennifer. I know you mortals think you're at the heart of everything, but believe me, you're not. Now please try to absorb all of this quickly. There really is no time to waste. Okay, I'm trying. Just one thing, though. No matter where we are, you gotta stop calling me Jennifer. You sound like my stepdad. It's Jen. I am to give Put you them the devices that will help you to learn of your true self. And if my lady is correct, mm, actually they, they afford us some protection. Well, yeah, the, the far out. It's a van brace. They fasten around your wrists. Please, it's important that you trust me and just put them on. I've just jumped out of my skin, <laughs> left my body in some hospital, then dragged through a rift gate. Rift gate? <laughs> and I'm in oblivion. Van brace? Mm. Not a problem. Precisely. She does have. Ooh, she does have quite an attitude about her. And pretty comfy for a pair of metal doodads. But um. Could have been made for me. Not so much that what? she becomes annoying. Uh, she she kind of walks that fine line between being sassy you don't? and being a douche without ever falling over. This lady. See what I mean about the lengthy intro. Who is she? Yeah, you know, somehow yes. this one just doesn't seem to drag like a lot of them do. She is strength and virtue. She is righteousness. She is nobility. She's a person, right? She is not a person. She is not mere flesh and bone, emotion and desire. She is one of two primal forces that govern the universe. She is order. Power and chaos. And the other would be. Other would be Abaddon, the embodiment of chaos, lord of corruption and decay. He is my lady's eternal foe and the reason for my being. Right. Uh, you know you're gonna have to introduce me to this Arella. Oh, I shall. And she will be most relieved to see you. But first, I must show you more of Oblivion. Please follow me. Scree? Will all this start making sense anytime soon? <laughs> Is there nothing you can say that won't leave my head Back spinning? I think that perhaps you're Lewis. It's interesting that the, this, despite being quite a lengthy Lewis? um Lewis thingy, Bob. No, I need to. You've got to help me find him. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change that round. Despite being quite a lengthy um, intro, this doesn't seem to drag the same way that a lot would. I find curious. Um, no. No, that's 
Not right, that isn't. There we go. That is not reversed. That is reversed. The way most people consider it, anyway. You know, up is down, down is up. Aviation. That's why I prefer it when they call it aviation. It makes more sense to me. As in, you know, down is up and up is down. On Pull way. back on the joystick to, to bring the nose up. On an airplane, that is. I wonder how much of this I'm still going to remember. Because there are certain things about it that still stick in my memory. I suppose I'll see as we go along. I wonder if I'll find all the collectibles. I did find all but one of them the very first time I played it. So they got one of these. With the might of chaos and order eternally battling, a balance between them must also be fought for. I don't know why. Here at the heart of the Nexus is but this is making you want to play Eco. Drawing in the two primal forces. Reminds me I heard about the last Guardian recently. It's been um energy. That is the awesome response. Put on hold again. And awesome support. Right now having to go back and redo a bunch of work on the um uh, and again, we do some of the stuff we've already done. As I said, Jen, Kronos. Jeez, he's looking at me. Doing his, doing his sexy too. dance uh, on the chair. Well, yeah, yeah, show him on. I'm sure the guy's doing a great job in oh, there. Oh yeah, that's right, I went there. Uh, on there. Oh my God, Scully, he's a damn thing. It is an ancient machine with Kronos living at its heart. There are four realms in Oblivion, Jen. Two aligned with order and two with chaos. Each realm has its own natural balance, eternally generating the right levels of primal energy, which is drawn into the Nexus and fed through Kronos to Arella and Abaddon. Kronos has eternally governed with wisdom and impartiality, channeling balanced strength to them both. Without him, the Nexus, Oblivion, <coughs> and your Mortalis wouldn't exist at all. Simple as that. You know... If I was as wise as this Kronos, I'd find a cushioned job. <laughs> Pull out the jacks, oh. swing the hand for a while. For all our sakes, I trust your own sense of responsibility matches your distinctive sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me, actually. I um, received an email from Waterstone recently. They're the main um, Jeez, boot the store for the UK. Or the largest boot distributor. There is... It reminded me to chat. Okay? Natural 2034 has not yet been translated into English. The force of chaos is overpowering him. Abaddon is putting his ancient plan into practice. I'm gonna have to break with eternity. Cut the verbal diarrhea. You're missing the kingdoms of order, strengthening the realms of chaos, foolishly rocking the Nexus like a boat about to capsize. Just to look at our guardian suffering. To I suppose we've just gotten so used to being able to ramble away with games that have less dialogue. I forgot, you know, this is a very dialogue intensive game. I'm gonna go up another. Hey, Taylor! Oh, what was that? It's one of the collectible things, isn't it? I remember the controls for this game now. I think it comes up with. Nope. Apparently don't do anything. Ah. Uh, where did Scree go? He went up that way. Did he go up that way or did he... Uh, no, he didn't. He went up that way, didn't he? There he is. I can see him just in the distance there, next to next to her head. I need to be as Scree to pick up those things, I think. Those glowing yellow things. But yeah, I've forgotten how word-heavy this game actually is. There is a whole lot of um, dialogue. People, they, there is a lot of speech in the game, which is good. It's very narrative and character heavy. And this reminds me, actually, this uh, Jan is one of those characters who, um, oh, who shows that you can have a strong female protagonist, and she's individual. It's no good. I'm gonna have to ask Scree. Questions, questions again. And if there's something I'd want you to ask, you never do. What, please? These symbols. Ah, 
I presume you have noticed this. Indeed, there is a remarkable similarity. They are identical, you monk. Luz drew the design for me just after we met. How come the symbols all over the place here? Can't or won't? It's branded on you, Jen, not me. I don't know everything. It's not branded, it's just a tattoo, goddammit. Lewis told me it was a ancient rune of protection. I just thought it looked cool. Branding is an interesting choice of words. See this symbol. It's very Subtext. You wouldn't tell me. Oh, forget it. Everything else going on, that ain't gonna freak me out. Come but on. yeah, Jen is a very strong, independent, and unique individual. Unlike a lot of female heroines. She is easily identified because a lot of times people they say that it's difficult to, for a male demographic to identify with a female character because obviously being male, it's more difficult to identify with something that you have no familiarity with. Yet Jen, I never had any problem identifying with her as a person because she's an individual. I find it very easy to take her on her merits as a person, the way she speaks, the way she acts, the way she reacts. Also noticed that we, now? we have entered the kingdom of Solon. Her outfit is still revealing, the yes. To the Nexus. In this realm, it is eternal night. And let me guess. But not in the way of it's not hypersexualized. Nothing too harsh for its people. It fits with the character. Strong and resourceful hunters. Did you say hunters? The worlds of Oblivion are each inhabited by a different race, and yes, the Ferai are fierce, sometimes brutal, but they are fundamentally good. Mm. You're going to meet a lot worse, I assure you. Splendid. Solom and its people have always been aligned with order, providing my lady Arella with power. But now things have gotten screwed up, right? Uh, yes, so I'm not thanks to Abaddon's villainy. His interference in the realms is drawing all the primal energy to his side and starving my lady of her very existence. In truth, neither side can survive without the other. There you go. Balance. Everything will be destroyed. More symbolism. So the guy's trashing the status quo, creating chaos. I guess he's doing his job. And we must do ours, so just listen. That's what you get for being such a small task. I'm sorry. You must forgive me for that, Jan. So much more will become clear to you, child, but we've so little time. Hey, look, don't sweat it. I'm fine. So what's to be done here? Let's get on with it. Thank you, Jen. Right, now, what we've got to do here, Jen, is... Uh, I haven't the faintest idea. But I do know Solom has been tainted by chaos somehow, and we have to restore the natural... I do like the breath of that. the are violent. But they live as a basically peaceful clan with rituals and art, for example, a structured society. The one crucial thing for the race is their king. In Solom, the king has huge authority, awesome strength, but he must, without fail, sacrifice himself at the height of his power and pass the throne to his heir. Gruesome. Ah, yes, the burning crown. The traditional method of royal sacrifice. Failure of the king to abdicate his power would devastate the land and lead its people to ruin. Ruin as in? Precisely. The king here is her, strong, deadly even, but always a good leader for his people, I believe. A fair eye king like any other through eternity, but some time ago he was due to relinquish power. Hmm. And he's running for another turn is senselessly refusing to give up his rule and so leading the fair eye to disaster so we check it out cool yes a sound plan of action hmm. i think that's a really nice touch you have these they're bestial they're aggressive they're violent but good they're animalistic they're not animals uh, in a more in the more lateral understanding of the word, as opposed to the literal force, they are animals. But 
I'll quite happily lead the way yeah, whenever you, you like. Change to screw. I just like got to switch characters. Yeah. That allows you to do certain things. So there are areas that um, Jen can't reach that Scree has to go to, and vice versa. It does give you tutorial stuff as you go along. Is that where I just came from? Uh, nope, doesn't appear to be. Uh, I'm not going to go out of my way to try and find all of the um, like collectibles. There are like I think there are five cards in each of the areas. I will be scouting around. God, keep God, see God. That did not sound too friendly. Hmm. Let's find another way around. No more on issue. Uh, oh, stupid. Could be right down there. Runes. I actually recognise some of them. So, uh. Yeah, I ascribe to the, the Nordic belief pattern. For those who don't know, I am not an Odinist. I don't give any special respect to Odin beyond the others, even though he is the supposedly the, the All Father and the one that built the halls of Valhalla and stuff. I also don't blindly follow it and take it as one hundred percent literal. I think we're actually supposed to take them as exactly what they are. Stories. However, um, I do believe that Odin, Freya, Thor, and all the rest of them really existed and really did do extraordinary things. And over time, their deeds have been exaggerated. But yeah, so I recognize some of them. Some of them, they were genuine runes. You hear those Although they are thing. Because, um. It sounds like Malkai. Great reverse. Territorial beasts, huge teeth, fearsome claws, fond of the dark. Well, hmm. that's it. We ain't moving. Oh, no. I suspect they'd only be interested in devouring you. Oh, great. I doubt they'd find me too palatable. Sure. You don't look particularly tasty. Malkai are afraid of fire. I'll see? scout ahead, see if I can find anything. Actually encourages you to... Make the most of both of them. It does it. I found in a that's, that's pleasant in a much more um, natural, a much more organic way than most games do. I mean, that was somewhat clumsy there, the whole exposition thing. But I've seen a hell of a lot worse. I'll say that. I quite like playing a screen actually. He's a He's a dude. Um, God, it really has been a while. I, I think... Yeah, there we go. I wasn't sure if I had to go this far, but... There it is. What I'm looking for... Uh, these environments are really nice. Like I said, um, I really... This should keep those Malkai I really um, like the things like the um, watching my bob, the breath effects, the way that Jen had the, like, the mist coming out of her mouth, attention to detail, things like that, and the, the, the effects on this, the fire, the, the little blurring ar around it. There's a lot of attention to detail put into this game, and it's kind of a shame that it, there hasn't been a, a sequel, even if it's only in a spiritual sense. At least not one that I'm aware of. If there is one, then please, please let me know because I'm um, I'm not going to lie. I am a massive fan of this game. Kind of why I decided to start playing this rather than Bioshock, which I will still go back and finish at some point. Because I just yeah. Once I start something, I finish it. So I've recorded several hours already. I've illuminated the cave, Jen. And uploaded some of it. Safe for you to enter. Just not made it live yet. Small point. Typical picky view. Should be safe or is safe? It is safe. Well done, big guy. Hmm. No, switch back to Jen. Hey, Taylor. Dipper. If you need information, just ask me and I'll do my best to help. 
Yeah, um... Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. What was that down at the bottom right? Bottom left, even. Ah, uh, that screws health. Apparently it didn't have any. Yeah, oh yeah, I remember now. The more, um, the more one screws bar is full up, and you see those... You look at my maps whenever you like. Th those They're updated as we progress. Diamond shaped things on the left, where the compass is. Those are, um, like, recharge things. The more of those you have, the more health scree can give to Jen during fights and things. He'll actually stand around and help her get her health back. Um, which way do I want to go? Makes a nice change. You know, being small and made from stone has some advantages. Oh, really? It does. Absolutely. I can climb up any stonework surface. <laughs> now that's something that might be useful to us, don't you think? <laughs> I guess. Hmm. I do like the fact that you're not really pushed into one specific direction. You can kind of uh, go your own way, so to speak. Do it, your, do it the way you want to do it. See, there's, um, I don't think there's anything actually down here, but I can go up there through that, or I can go down here. I'm going to go down here because that waterfall is calling to me. I have a thing for waterfalls. Not like that. But I like waterfalls. There is some, there's a, quite a lot of exploration involved. Something that a lot of games these days are lacking. They, they tend to follow the linear path because the people making it, quite rightly, want you to experience all of the, the loveliness they've made. And I can understand why they want to do that. But it's also nice to be given, you know, some freedom in the way you go about it. Approach it from different angles. Do the best games find a balance between the two? Because... I mean, you really kind of need a linear plot. You can't just... Well, it's, you can, but it's difficult. You know, you can't just really have a... Um, thingy bob. Uh, a plot that's all over the place and happens just as and when you find it. The bridge is broken. Better find another way across. See, the exploration uh, available, it's still only one path to follow, but it gives us the opportunity to actually feel like there's more to the world than just go down here, move from point A to point B. And I think this finds a pretty good balance between it, like the best ones do. I mean, speaking of the whole um, thing in the jungle, Plot developing as it develops. Bethesda are pretty good Don't at doing that. Don't just stand there. This thing weighs a ton. <laughs> I think that's uh, something else that was done in, that was chosen deliberately. The fact that there's one female character on one male, it allows for a different dynamic than, for example, two males or two females. But the fact that uh, that our ma our boy Scree here, instead of being a regular male, to have the sexual chemistry that you usually get in a situation like this, is just male. Right. Um, nope, not there. But it still does allow for some slightly different chemistry. Which is a good thing. You notice we've now moved away from the massive plot dump as well. Which I think was handled extremely well. It was lengthy, and don't get me wrong, it was very lengthy, but it didn't drag. At least it didn't for me. If it dragged for you, well, you know, different uh, different um, strokes for different folks, as they say. Not on the menu here. I'll smell how I want. That was somewhat less dramatic than it was supposed to be, I think. 
kind of got the point across, but I think I kind of like that. It's not shoving it in your face the way it usually does. Big lad, isn't it? Shit. Very big. <laughs> but yes, yeah, screw you guys. I'm oof. <laughs> Should have moved faster. Again? Turn, don't worry. In English? I can speak the demon tongue. Del Safinta, Wend M. Jen, Eb M. Ota Jimen Diarella, Eb Hivan Keferai, Ekta Sansetem Rekba. This runt would have me believe you're an envoy of the goddess Arella. I suppose I could have put more the more like a sniveling half to me. on. Screen. I vote we're big enough to swallow the odd insult here. Strangers, in these treacherous times, that is so... should I drive you from my kingdom or lead you to the Malkai? Malachi? She doesn't understand, so... Me, Lord, why should you? To help, why you. Should she... help me. Why should I suppose we? you must know the whereabouts of my son, then. Well, no. Then you are of no use. But listen, I do know what it's like to lose someone. My friend Lewis was taken from me. Couldn't we at least help you look for Jared? You seem ill-equipped to be helping anyone. Take this, and you may just survive the night. Uh, thanks. I have no more time for strangers. I must return to the Great Temple. Perhaps tonight my prayers will be answered. I guess we know what he prays for. That's one of the things I can say for turn his son. Come on, Scree, we can do it. Let's find this Jared. Fine, fine, as you wish. I'll add him to the list. Hey, why do you call me a half breed? Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps it's time for me to scout ahead again. Yeah, it does actually go into the, the half breed thing later, and you notice that he just completely ignored the question. I can't remember which one, what they, those ones do. What you doing? It's called a lodestone. They're important. You'll find out later. You are one strange critter, Scree. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it's kind of obvious now what's going on. He's supposed to pass over control to Jared, but if he can't find Jared, then he can't pass over control, can he? Not rocket science, really. That's a mechanic that a lot more games could do with them um, playing with the ability to climb walls and things like that. So I love Spider Man games. You can climb up any surface, you can web swing all over the place. It, uh, ca it causes um, developers to have to think outside the box to prevent you from going to places where you're not supposed to be. <coughs> a lazy developer, of course, will just have the invisible wall, which is really annoying. But the more sensible ones will... No, I thought that was a log then. Let's go and find another one. Why does he not have that one that he had earlier? But a more uh, intelligent developer, or designer, whatever you want to call it, will come up with more interesting ways, perhaps have surfaces that are too slick for you to climb up, for example. Again, it's pretty lazy, but it works, it at least works better than, no, nope, can't go down there, cause reasons. I need to find a way to get Jen over here. Mm-hmm. I also need to find a thing in the jar. Do, 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 do. Why do I keep getting James Bond music in my head? Do, 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 do. That's better. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I was watching film earlier, actually. I was extremely apprehensive about it. After having... I mentioned that already, didn't I? After having read the, the, the trilogy of five. Yeah, there are five novels in the trilogy. After having read the trilogy of five, and I've heard some of the audio drama, I've seen the original um, TV series, 
I was extremely apprehensive about it, especially with um, Ford Prefect being. Oh, I think you've over there. Especially with Ford Prefect being um, black. It, it felt very much like they made him black just because they wanted a black uh, um, actor in there. Though, in his defense, I have to say, he did a very good job and he was very convincing. Now, Jenny's got to be. Um, so yeah, it was pretty damn good. Oh, he, also Zoe Deschanel's in it, and uh, I know my girlfriend's gonna hate me for saying this, but she is absolutely gorgeous. She really is. She's she's also an incredibly talented actress. Um, can't remember what I'm doing now. I'm at a bit of a loss. That's where I was earlier. That's the thing you both. Um, um, what am I missing? I feel very dense. Because what happens when you don't play something for a while, though, you forget things. And it has been a long time since I've played this, as I've stated a few times already. So, it's thingy bob somewhere nearby, isn't there? Brand, I can pick up. So that I can light these chalice things. Or is there. Have I missed it already? I don't think I have. I'm just gonna check that just to make absolutely certain. I swear I am not doing this just to, to pad the video out further. I really am not. Not oh, out there. Ah, must be back down to the end after all. Seriously, no, I'm not doing this just because I love the sound of my own voice. I'm not doing this just because I want to go talking further and monopolize your attention. I know you don't believe me because of how much you hear me rambling on with myself at the best of times, but I, I can just ramble anyway. It's just the sort of person I am. I can talk to you about anything I want. At least I'm not singing. Or am I? Well, obviously I'm not singing right now, but that doesn't mean that I won't. Don't think that you're free of that. I could start singing at a moment's notice. I could sing about anything I wanted. And, you know, speaking of um, singing, Jason Carter is also in Babylon 5. Why did I mention that? It's because, well, Andreas Katsoulos was in Babylon 5. Jason Carter was in Babylon 5. And one of the songs I keep singing was sung by Jason Carter in an episode of Babylon 5. I am the very model lover. And now I'll stop there. I'm not going to subject you to that. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Can I climb up? I can as well. Here we go. But can I get all the way up there? No, apparently not. Hmm. Okay, so it's not a case of going up there. I thought maybe I'd go in through that, that doorway there, but... Apparently not. Just gonna go round. Get up there, yep, I can go up there. Not over there. Not there. It must be inside somewhere then. Guess I don't remember this game all that well after all. Good, that means it'll be like a new experience for me, kind of. Even though it's blatantly not a new experience because I have played it before. Can I? Um, no, 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 um, I'm truly at a loss here. I'm going to need to find my way up the top there, can I get on the, no, can't get on there, can get on there, nope. Huh. Um. Hmm. I'm stuck. Not a great start, is it? Not particularly inspiring. I remember them being important in some way. Those two things are. Um. Uh, this obviously is important as well. But I need Jen to be able to go through there. 
I mean, Scree even said that, didn't they, when I was over by it. Can I climb up the wall? Nope. I seem to be able to. Can't open the door because it's closed from the other side. Yeah. Someone must have secured it from the inside. I need Jen. I need to, uh, to find a way to get Jen over here, like you said. And I am at a loss for how to do that at the moment, so I think I have to head back. So the only thing I can think of now is to head back and say, Oh, can't make it, Charmel. We're going to have to find another way around or something like that. That does ring bells. Ding, 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 ding. Hmm. It does sound somewhat familiar to me. You know, I, I definitely can't find a um, thingy bob. Maybe I'm going to have to go and find one from somewhere else. Uh, a torch. Uh, let's go back up and have a chat with Jen and see what she has to say for herself, if anything. Okay, what's next? I need to find a way to get you across the river. There's no other route. Right. Hmm. This could be problematic. He's dead. Right, maps. Oh, I'm fucking mill. Telling me to go to the mill. That's what that flashing symbol is for. Right. Fairy digs. Let's head down this way then. I guess I needed to head back after all. Or did I? I don't know. Make sure I'm going the right way. Yes. No, it's... Um... Yeah, I like the fighting system in this. It's based on... It's a free flow combat style that is based on how hard you press the button and which one you press. And, um. stuff. Yes, I need to be over there. Our screen needs to be over there. There's something in the mill. Let's change back to screen. Screen can't do any fighting, by the way, so if you go into an area where there are enemies, he will just be. Uh, be railed on repeatedly. You have to switch to Jen to do the combat, and it's uh, very. You know, you get that free flow thing they talk about with um, the with the uh, with Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. But this did it. This did it long, long, long before then. And it's not based on flowing back and forth from one em em enemy enemy to another. It's alternating between left and right attacks. And hard and soft attacks. So for those who don't remember, the uh, PlayStation 2 also had analog inputs for its um, shoulder buttons. They're just more pronounced than the more recent consoles. But the PlayStation 2 had them as well. I think the PlayStation 2 was the first one to do them. We were supposed to be able to use them on games like Grand Theft Auto, but it didn't work as effectively as the new one, so for obvious reasons, because the, the triggers now are a lot less... Um, they're, they're, they're triggers now, rather. Don't, don't even go there. I might, have I really been that... I have, haven't I? Oh, I feel like a right wally now. <sighs> One of the collectibles. Is it over here? But, nope. 
Well, I could get up there at least, but... Still doesn't really help me. So, what else do I need? So this, is where I, this is where I'm supposed to be, isn't it? Somewhere around here. And what am I looking for in here? It's telling me to be here for some reason, isn't it? And why? What's here? What is there that I am not seeing? I can't make it up there. Can't go across there. Um, I feel incredibly dense. This is where I need to be, isn't it? Yep, this is where I need to be. So what's here then? That's the collectible there. Um, Come on, you know, you know, you want to give me something, something. There's some reason it's telling me to be here. Then why? What is it? What is so special about this? Why do I need to be? Yeah, precisely. Not there? No, apparently not. Uh, is that something I can climb up onto? Is there a way up there? Aha. Uh -huh. No. Interesting. What am I not seeing? I don't remember being stuck like this the first time I played it. No, I definitely don't remember it being stuck around here for ages. I remember uh, moving through this fairly quickly. And again, it has been a while, so maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. It's always a possibility! There's always a possibility indeed. Nope. Nope. There's definitely nothing out there. I'm gonna go back up on to the thing you've got to be back. I'm gonna go back up onto there. Maybe there was something else up there that I just didn't see. Maybe I'm just dense. Anything? Anything here? Um, I climb up, no, I climb up on that. Nothing else to pick up. Nothing else to get hold of or anything like that, so. What am I looking for then? I'm completely at a loss now. This is going to be a very lengthy video of me running around in circles. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I think I just sussed it out. I pressed the wrong button anyway. I was trying to go to the map. I think I just figured out what I'm supposed to do. And if that if that's the case, then I feel incredibly dense. That thing there. Do I do something with this? No, apparently not. Thought maybe I had to knock it over or something. No, apparently not. Mm. But that's what I was actually doing, just to check. It's definitely time to go on something. Why? I honestly cannot remember what's going on in here. Uh, I'm going to 
mechanism there. I get up on this wall. Come on, come on. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm lost. I'm at a loss. And I really have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. So, yeah. So, I'm, I'm going to take a quick break and try and figure out where I'm going. Make myself a cup of tea. So I rehoused some of my cats today. I figure that is, I owe you something. I should talk about something at least whilst I'm derping around here, completely unable to find or figure out what the hell I'm supposed to actually be doing. Yeah, I uh, sent most of them off to new homes. All the females are gone, so I no longer have a cat problem. That's good, right? something. Don't worry, you haven't missed any of my thrilling repeated exploration of the same place. I haven't skipped anything. Um, any kind of hints in here? No? Oh, well, whilst I'm here, I'm going to save the game anyway. Yay, big game in Solon. Hmm. I think I've cut my finger. I'm sure you really wanted to know that. Come on. Thank you. Let's go back to Jen, see how she's doing. I think maybe I'll head back a little bit and get thingy off. No? Probably not. Not back to screw it, is them. Definitely told her I has to find some way of getting her across, mate. Why is it telling me to go to the middle? 
Yes, it is. It's clearly st it's clearly saying that I need to go to this mill here. Yeah. There must be something in there. I'm gonna have another quick look up here, just in case I'm being incredibly dense and missing something that's right in front of my eyes. Don't think I am. And uh, like I said, I need Jen to be able to go into there because I need her to go through crack in the wall. The gap's too small for me. Hmm. There's no way you can climb up it or anything. More room. No, I really don't remember being stranded like this. Um, hmm. The gap's too small for him, so I need Jen. I climb up there. All right. Um. If I don't find it soon, I'll spare you the the agony of watching me running around in circles, making a complete derp of myself. But hey, this is supposed to be a series of my failures, and this certainly qualifies. I've kind of pinned down what that all means now, by the way, the whole failing thing. It's me... No, nope. Me playing games on high difficulty settings and dying a lot. This one doesn't have changeable difficulty settings, so you're going to have to settle with me not knowing where I'm going, as is the case right now, obviously. Um. So, yeah. Don't know where I'm going, and I'm apparently completely useless. At least for the moment. Hey, Scree. What do you think we should be doing now? I need to find a way to get you across the river. There's no other route. Get her across the river. So... Shall we head back down to the river? Worth a try. Nothing else seems to be paying off at the moment. Although I kind of half remember already going down there a moment ago. I'm not finding anything of interest. Yeah, we were down here just a moment ago, weren't we? We didn't find anything then, so why don't we find anything now? Can you climb up this wall? Apparently not. Nope. Nothing else going on down here. Okay, I, I I admit, I'm completely at a loss now. I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't remember getting lost like this. So... What now? No, seriously, what now? Can I somehow make that tree fall over, do you think? Okay, what's next? I need to find a way to get you across the river. There's no other route. It's gotta be, hasn't it? It must be that tree. I I kinda I I don't know. Seriously, I just don't I don't know anymore. I don't remember having any trouble. Um, but I have been to sleep since then, so I suppose I could just be remembering it wrong. Is there another, um, log in here for me to grab? I don't think there is, but it's worth having a lot just in case. Oh, there is actually, yeah. Okay, that, that could come in useful then. Am I supposed to have just come back here in the first place and not this? If, it, if that's the... I think I've just... I think I've just figured it out. I kind of half remember now him having the 
me having to come back and get this and burn that tree to make it collapse so it acts as a sort of bridge for her. You can tell it's been a while since I've played this kind of game. No, don't put it down! Silly, silly slug. You could have kept hold of it at least. I could always relight it when I'm down here. This is a brazier there. Right, it's got to be something to do with that tree, hasn't it? Or has it? I don't know. I don't even know. But it would make sense. It's telling me to go to the mill. Uh, Go to the mill. Again. See what we can see. Again. Hmm. But at least I haven't started to. That's something to be thankful for, I think, if you hope. Oh, it is as well. I feel a right muppet now. I might even actually put in the description that the previous one can be skipped. The previous, bridge. The previous video which was just me running around being dirt. So if I have done that and you have skipped it, welcome back now that I'm actually getting somewhere. Come on, Jen. Where you at? Oh, she's still there. That explains why there were those two thingy bobs down there when I went down there earlier. Oh well, I've dealt with them now, so they're out of the way. Oh, I feel incredibly dense, but I made tea whilst I was taking my quick break from everything. I made myself a cup of tea, so I have tea. Life is good. I had a very silly moment there, because, um, probably because I played too many of the more recent games. I know, I know, it sounds like I'm bashing them, and they're not all that terrible, but there are a lot more of them that do, um, spoon feed you everything and hold your hand the entire way, so. It's been, uh, I think, quite a while since I've played a game like this, to be honest. I mean, I mentioned that earlier, it's the first time I fired up my PlayStation 2 properly in quite some time. Several years. I have the blue one, by the way. Blue PlayStation 2. I also have a pink control pad. I didn't even know they existed. I was just, I was just googling it. Not googling. I was on eBay randomly one day. So many earthquakes. The land suffers as a result of Hearn's poor judgment. Several moons have passed since he failed to relinquish his throne. He didn't fail, Scrooge. How can he let go when there's no heir to take over? Of course. Uh -huh. Finding Jared could be the key to restoring the balance in Solar. Right, one inch. No slouch. And that's a good thing. I like girls with brains. No, seriously, I do. You know how there are those guys who are like, oh, I like, I like smart ones, and then when they get one, they're always trying to trivialize them because they can't handle the fact that. Well, I can actually be as smart as they are. Well, no, not me. I like the smart ones. I like the girls that are smarter than I am. Be blunt. And good job, Jed. Oh, hello. Uh, and I'm quite certain there are many of them out there. I'm no slouch when it comes to to the blames, but uh, well. Dated a few girls already that are smarter than I am. But girl I'm with now, much though she doesn't seem to realise it, is often stupid. The only thing she lacks really is experience and more importantly confidence. Well, I haven't received a message from anyone for a while. Then again. Ah, my uh, phone is currently suspended, so I haven't been able to send any either. Oh. 
Yeah, you do sometimes find things inside of those, so it's worth um, worth breaking them all, just in case. But now we're getting somewhere again. No, um, this reminds me actually. Well, everybody's doing all those H HD remakes at the moment. I might almost actually be interested in seeing this redone. Although, to be honest, what I'd much rather see is a sequel. Even, as I said, if it's only a spiritual sequel, I'd still like to see an actual sequel to the game. It really deserves one. Fantastic game. And now that I'm back on track, I can start showing you. Notice their horns are a lot smaller than hers. We should ask these tribesmen if they know anything about Jared's disappearance. Shoot. Apparently, Jared used to hunt here. Some time ago, the locals heard a terrible fight raging. Nobody's seen him since. Like I was saying earlier, actually, about the subtitles. If I had the subtitles on and we knew everything that was happening, that was being said, it would make it easier in some ways, you know, from a player perspective. But as a character, well, Jen doesn't know what's going on, so why should we? I kind of prefer it that way. It adds to immersion for me. It makes the game feel more natural, more fluid. Unless it's one way you're supposed to know what's being said, that's a little bit different. Like, um, so come. If you, uh, certain members of your squad can translate what's being said, and then it shows up as subtitles on your screen. If that member of your wall doesn't look too team dies, I remember this. If that member of your team dies, then you, um, can't think of anymore. Wait, what was it saying? What was it time to press square for? No, oh, get down, so no. Thank you. What was it time to press square for? Dunno. Yeah. I don't like that brazier. I don't like that. Yeah. Waddle, 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 Convenient that there's a nice little groove there. Like they do this on a regular basis. To be honest, that actually wouldn't surprise me. These guys are a little bit on the the odd side. Well, they are aminals after all, but aminalistic. Yes, aminals. Ah, yes. Gives you that there are multiple things you can do in the area, you have your square to do something else. So, I think I remember now, I think it's the blue one that allows Scree to give her energy back, and then the diamond ones that allow him to revive her. Something like that? Or is it the other way around? Might be the other way around. We'll find out as it goes by anyway. I haven't read the instruction manual for a while, so I haven't had any reason to. But uh, I'm glad I started playing this again. As you may have noticed, this recording's been going on a lot longer than the um, than I usually do. And other games I've played because I enjoy it more. 
Plus, I feel I owe you something for sitting through me going round and round in circles, the same area over and over and over. Oh well. I remember these things. Rift gates outside of the Nexus are a little different to those within. Before we can use this one, we must first power up the outer disks. You take one wheel, I'll take the other. Yeah, they, um, we need to build up sufficient speed so that a passageway may be formed. They allow you to okay. fast jump, as I recall. A bit like those portal things you get in, um, yeah. It's the directional buttons, too. I don't want to go there at the moment. But they allow you to jump from one area to another. Kind of like the the, the warp gate things you get in Soul Reaver. Legacy of Cain series. That's another, another series that I really want to start playing again. Oh, that one actually is getting a new game in the um, series, sort of, in the not-too-distant future. It's, it's actually a reboot, but um, the important thing is we're getting another Legacy of Cain game. I hope it's more of a soft reboot because I, I know that the, the whole thing with the Hilden was brought in by a separate team than the original people. Locked. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going now. So, um, it kind of makes sense that they do a reboot, but I do hope it's something of a soft reboot and doesn't run roughshod over the main story because. Um, it really needs to be finished off, if you ask me. It kind of left on a... Um, I don't know, not a down note as such, but it certainly deserved more than it got. Yeah, oh, that reminds me of those thingy bobs, by the way. They only affect you. Um, I'll talk about that in a little bit. When she's in her uh, mortal form like this, I mean, her health refills, but I'll go into more detail of that as and when it happens. Suffice to say that she. She can do stuff. Don't want to give too many spoilers. But hey, if you haven't played the game already, the whole thing's gonna be, is going to be a spoil, but I don't want to tell you until it actually happens. Now this isn't a good sign. What is it? It's a horn. It's a piece of a ferai's horn. It has an engraved tip. The symbol is similar to one used by Hearn's family. I guess we should show it to him then. That reminds me, actually, I want a drinking horn. No, it don't look too good, does it? Looks like it was a nice building once upon a time. Oh, wow. nice place to live. I'd love to live in a place like that. Don't just stand there. This thing weighs a ton. I would miss my internet connection, though. So I could only stay in a place like that if there was a net connection nearby. Fiber optic as well. I like my fiber optic I does. I think we'll need to split up here. I can climb down. I'm afraid you'll have to find another way. Well, I can find my way, alright. It does I think this is a point where you could have done with a, a, at least a brief cutscene where she showed some reservation about doing this because I mean it does take a certain amount of guts to be able to, to do something like that. Right. There we go, thank you. So I think they they kind of I just think that the um, the developers kind of forgot, to be honest. They introduced this as a play mechanic, possibly introduced it fairly late on and just didn't think to um to add a little scene like that, because that sort of thing is such a standard part of video games these days. Even by the, even at this point when this game was made, it was still fairly common to have things like that as a play mechanic. So I think they just didn't consider the possibility that um, a real person in the real world would have some degree of reticence about doing it. 
then again, considering what she's already been through, it's not all that unreasonable for her to be just like, you know what, just go with it by this point. She's uh, seen a lot of weird stuff already. The whole thing splitting up and them having to find their own way across is something that does happen on a fairly regular basis. This is just a kind of a teaser. This this whole level is pretty much one big, huge, extremely um, fluid tutorial when you think about it. It's slowly introducing all of the major aspects of the game a little bit at a time without putting in too much so that it becomes overwhelming. I think this leads back up to where I saw those guards earlier and they were uh, like, Go do one, Shaman. Use the bow and arrow. Add the bows and arrows again. You know, scraping. Eh, has to be scraped to go through there. I'm gonna go over this way first. I think there's another little cutscene over here where we get a bit more of the the plot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the bit I'm thinking of. And if it is, this is one of the better scenes, as I recall. Get down, someone's coming. Dun, 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 dun. Been out on mash. Or maybe not. What's going on here? The hell is that thing? It was like a tauntaun on crack. On steroids, oh, more Wait, Scree. I don't know who she is, but this does not look like a welcoming committee. Like I said, she's not not stupid, that one. Casusdis is includi vit deos jaluenari. The job to penny, for duly al he did him. Tur san jeep mo bedum bol he, deos need you put caver bear. Stupid. Du lasso san pen. It's pretty obvious she just said some of that silence. Ow. That looked painful. But not for long. I don't understand. Divina is known as a noble and just queen. Why would she have someone murdered? People change. Yes, she ain't the gal she used to be. The prisoner was no criminal. He was a shaman, a fair eye holy man. He spoke of uncovering Divina's secret and that there were others still loyal to her. We must find out what he meant. Wonder if Hearn knows about his wife's mean streak. I doubt it, and I don't relish the task of telling him. The plot thickens. See, now that's the kind of, uh, this goes back to Bioshock, and it won't really have the relevance to you right now that it will after you've seen my dissection of Bioshock, but that's the kind of plot development I like a lot, it's a lot more, it's, like they say, show, don't tell. It's also not lengthy like a lot of them are, it gets the point across quite easily. Instead of having to explain everything to you, it just shows you, look, something is out of sorts here. It doesn't even tell you exactly what's going on, which is a nice change. Okay, I'm actually going to go back. I'll be back to this in a minute. I'm going to go back to that fact, since it's only him that can go through there. I'll leave Jen where she is for now. Oh, wait. Need to be down there. Because if you remember, there was that thing you brought back up the top. There was that little um, cavey, Al Colby thing you could go through. I'm going to go and have a mooch in there first. Goosey gander. Jen will be fine where she is. 